Do you suffer with chronic pain or chronic disease and you've done everything in terms of the correct diet and exercise and sleep and all the things that Dr. Google and Dr. Oz and mainstream tells you to do? Well, one thing that is given lip service but is often overlooked from a treatment standpoint is stress and the impact that it has on your physiology. So we need to remember that stress can come in many forms. It could be physical stress like trauma or abuse. It could be mental stress of which abuse is a part of that, uh, social interactions, spouse relationships. It could be spiritual stress. It could be chemical or nutritional stress. It could be environmental stress like corporate toxins, smog, traffic, those sorts of things. But the one that I mentioned that is the most overlooked is that mental emotional stress and the impact that toxic relationships and toxic environments such as toxic work environments or toxic school environments can have on you. And I don't mean toxic environments as in the, from the standpoint of mold and water damage buildings, although that is a huge factor in certain cases. I mean the environment of the workplace or of the school from a social aspect. If you are going to work or going to school and every day you are stressed heading there because you know you're going to see this one person or this group of people or this click that really stresses you out all day long, then that's a situation that you really need to consider changing. If you find you wake up and you hate your job or you hate the place that you're at, that's a situation that you need to consider changing. If there's a toxic relationship, that's a situation you need to consider changing. Because staying in it, although uh, may seem like the right thing, or it may seem like I can't quit my job because I don't know how to do anything else, or I can't quit my job because I get paid well and the other option would pay me less, that may not seem like a good idea, but staying in that place for more pay is going to kill you sooner versus leaving that place, accepting less, less pay, but being happy and having improved quality of life gives you wealth of a different kind and a much more meaningful kind. So I encourage you if you've done everything right, quote unquote, and you're not seeing changes, take a self inventory of your social stress, your emotional stress, and your workplace and school environment and see if that's the missing link to you getting well.